I really don't know what I'm doing with this. So this is where I was standing the next day after the eagle fought me out there. And then I was about up to my waist where I am now watching the little fish. See if you can see them here. I don't know. You can see them, see them down there? Little fellas, yeah. So I was watching them and the eagle came back swooping from over there. I mean, that's the tree there that it swooped at me from before, but then it just flew low and came right over the water here and then went up into, I think it was that tree. See the big coniferous one? So that's, you know, whatever, like 50 yards away or something. But they have like eight times vision. Like it's just staring at me and just started yelling at me. I'm like, go f yourself. <laughs> you know, you're not keeping me out of the water. But yeah, so this is where I was watching the little fish. See, look at you. Do -do 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 -do. All right. <laughs> so what I figure, as you can see, I'm just in the water now, that the eagle would have thought, here, I'm turning around. So see that tree, that's the one it kept circling. And then it finally, when it came down around the back and swooped right down at me, what I figure is that it was, I've, because of my wetsuit, my body, it can't see it. So I was, I would have been like a, a bunny on top of the water you know it's just coming in for a quick little feast <laughs> and then so but hey Fenario oh no, no don't turn off what the f I don't know if that's off or not I'm gonna try to turn it off and try and turn it on I don't know what I'm doing where is it on oh it's totally on there's Fenario Fenario so these seem to be doing all right. But anyway, so when I was fighting with the eagle and then it finally swooped around around that tree and it just came full right at me with its arms, or sorry, its wings outstretched, its talons down. And then it was like skimming its, its uh, claws at points in the water like it was right there and it was full kill mode and then so i was just splashing and yelling and that way and laughing because <laughs> it was awesome and that wasn't doing anything and so it was still coming and then at the last second um i did one last like that and the water hit its chest that's how close it was to me and that's the only thing that stopped it and it just whizzed right past my head and then it turned oh here comes a boat and i followed it up and then it started coming down it immediately just circled back at me and dive bomb me and i had to keep doing that and so you know i'm way out here i mean i'm not close to where i was further out than I am now but so I had to fight the thing facing this way so my back was to the beach looking way out there and I was more I like going f further out in the middle because that's where the current's the strongest and you have to fight harder to not get swept away just to stay in place but it makes you toughen up and uh, oh, now I got little waves from the boat but uh, it makes you toughen up, so you have to swim harder. So I, that's why I like to be out in the middle. I mean, I don't care about dark, uh, deep, deep water and stuff. To me, water is water. Shallow, deep, the essence of water is the essence of water. But, I, but there is a thing that I do like about when it goes dark underneath and you can't see um, when you're in deep water. Because to me, that's like, you're just, you know, you're chasing the void in the abyss. Like just finding the, it's a freeing, liberating thing. And I love it. So 
I think I'm kind of getting swept away right now. You can see uh, I'm down a bit. But anyway, so I'm out kind of around here a little bit more and more in the middle and more centered with my beach and stuff. But that's where I had to fight the eagle with my back to the beach, trying to make my way consciously back there and fight it off at the same time while fully appreciating the moment that I was in because it was amazing. It was like just so amazing. Like I know it's unique. People haven't stopped telling me that. But like the a close bush encounter is not unique to me because I, I've lived remote. I like the bush. I like the beach. And it's only natural. The more time you spend in the water or in the bush, in the natural environment, you're gonna be have encounters with animals. I mean, to me, that's just common sense. And you're just playing the odds. The more you do anything, the more chance you have of it happening at some point. So, so over the, the um, response has been overwhelming and kind of tripped out. But the thing I'll never forget is the eagle, like right in my, uh, just that when it was, when it made that swoop down, when it finally circled the tree for the last time and decided like it's going in for meal time. Ooh, I got weeds around me. And, uh, and then it just swooped down the way it's, it's, uh, wings were out with its talons down in full full kill mode in a very personal manner like I'll never forget how it's just I keep saying exhilarating when that's not the right word there's no words for that it was it was amazing like it was a very uh, spiritual type thing for me and I just, I don't know, since the, the fascination I've had my entire life, I just, uh, sorry I'm getting tangled in my rope here, but uh, I don't know, it was something more than what people are seeing. Like, I, I just see the whole experience different from the reactions that it's generated. But anyways, so the cool thing is, I mean, I'm so glad the smoke is cleared. Oh, you can see the ferry. But the more you're out here for deep water swimming, because I'll swim, swim proper for a while, but I always tread water for, you know, hour, hour and a half or more. So the everything just gets used to you. So I'm routinely every day. Um, got birds going all around me. And I got fish jumping all around me. And it's freaking great, man. It's totally great. I love it. I don't love having a wetsuit on though. I just, I'd rather have natural water, like the water touching my skin, but I need the wetsuit. Right now that's a concern because of um, not having dropped enough weight, even though I've dropped a lot, but, and I've dropped, I don't know if it cut off or if I said it, but uh, like 11 pounds in the past week and a half, two weeks tops, but it's still not enough. So my wetsuit, I haven't tried to zip it up in the back because I don't mind it right now, but doing the six mile swim um, with the back open, which means a part of my core is exposed, for the amount of time that it'll take me to do it, even with, a, you know, the slight current that there is, um, I could be looking at uh, some hypothermia pretty harshly, like severe hypothermia possibly. I'm not sure, but that's the new thing I'm thinking about. I don't care what it's going to do to, you know, the pain in my body and how to deal with that. I can deal with that. I don't care about the mental wars. 
seaweeds. I can deal with that too. But it's just the hypothermia, like I've dealt with that very severely before, but not in this kind of duration. So um, we'll have to see. I mean, I'll have to see. It's only a week away, I'm going, and I'm gonna go as far as I can, possibly. And uh, I gotta maybe try a new way to tie this up. There's a good chance I could lose this in the dark. Uh, this, my little extension here. Uh, so, sorry, I got distracted. Learning stuff here. Anyways, I'm gonna stop recording. I just wanted to try this thing and fucking might as well do a little talk while I'm instead of just sitting here like an idiot while I'm treading water. But I'm getting carried away a bit. You can see I'm a bit further down now. And if I try to still myself, you might be able to see the current. It's not that bad today. But if you're not paying attention, you get swept away into the ferry. And so it's better to pay attention. Ooh, yeah. you see that? <laughs> Little fella. All right, so I gotta swim back now before I get too far away here. And get back into my swim.